Hello there and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. Now then, today I shall be reviewing the second Doctor and Cyberman from the Tomb of the Cybermen, the story that aired in 1967. Now then, I'll just start off by uh, moving the Tomb of the Cybermen and Cybermen out of the way and just review the second Doctor and take his record out of his hand and just place it there. Now then, if you are to look at the face, there's a very good likeness of Patrick Troughton. He has the wrinkles on his cheeks and also has that weird look that he always had. The eyebrows are also very nicely done, just like how he would um, have them in it as well. The hair is very nice as well. Looks like that weird non-combed hair we used to have. For articulation, he has articulation in the head, the arms, the elbows, the biceps, the wrists, which is very stiff. The waist, the legs, and the knees. And there you go. That is basically his articulation, generic Doctor Who articulation. Now then, he has nice detailing on the coat, as you can see there. There's a big pocket. He has buttons up here and the slits where the buttons are meant to go in. His handkerchief is here, which is quite disappointing. I think it would look nice if it had some um, <coughs> excuse me, white polka dots on it there. That would be quite nice, but it doesn't have that, sadly. If you look here, it has two buttons along each sleeve, two buttons there, and this coat actually resembles William Hartnell's coat quite a lot, but it's different, just like the lapel, as you can see here, is different. It has the cut there, it isn't just a straight lapel. His shirt is nice, as you can see there. It's a light blue with buttons going down it, and his bow tie, a diagonal slant like you would have it, with white little polka dots on it. His trousers aren't the best, as you can see here. There are some bits where, you know, they've just completely missed out on paint. For example, there and uh, there. So that is kind of hard to do. So, you know, that's fine for me. Shoes, very nicely detailed, as you can see there. Nice and dirty like you'd have them, all grubby and everything, with his whole bowl look. Um, here is his recorder. You can see there, going down to that pattern light blue and dark blue. Here are his green tassels on the end of the recorder and he holds this very tightly. Here. He doesn't let go of it. It stands quite well just depending on how you have his feet positioned. So yeah, he stands quite well. Oh, he fell. I nearly did it. There you go. Now he's standing quite well. And now <coughs> I shall review the Cyberman. It has a slight, ever so slight articulation in the head that can move a little bit. Articulation in the arms, the biceps, the elbows, the wrists, the waist, the legs, knees, and the boots. Now that it has a nice head sculpt as you can see there. Very nice. With his mouth, his eyes, everything. If you look at the back here, you can see where the um, you could, if you look here, you could see where his um, the human brain would be fitted. So that's very nice there, as you can see. Nice pattern along the top there, just like in the shell. He has pipes coming out of here, there, everywhere, leading to this main thing here. I suppose it's his generator or something, his life support. <clears throat> pipes leading to his legs, arms, feet, there, everything. What I like is how they've made his actual suit look like it was a suit made from fabric, which white, which is it was. So it's quite good they did that. If you look here, he has his weird teenage mutant ninja turtle hands, four fingers, no three, sorry. Anyway, um, he um, has a nice costume overall. I quite like it. The boots are very nice, you know, like moon boots. They're quite good. I overall like this figure. Once again, they have made a black and white version of this set. I might get it, maybe, maybe not. <coughs> so never mind that. Now, let's move on to the packaging of the figure, if I just move them out of the way. Here we go. Here is the ident card, which I've stapled onto this, so I don't lose it. It says 1967, the second Doctor. 1966 to 69, 1967 for the Sidemen from Tomb of the Sidemen. Tomb of the Action Figures, Basic Doctors logo. If you look here, all eight Doctors, well, the classic Doctors with their dates, how long they lasted. Second Doctor, Sidemen, day, not 
Paul's work to do this date and date. <sighs> now, if I were to read it, it says, Often bejeweling his enemies by hiding his fierce intelligence and morality under a cloak of shambling irreverence, the second doctor always looked for the best in people and the aliens he met, seeking a peaceful solution to every situation. After encountering the warlike aliens who were kidnapping people across time and space, he was forced to call upon his fellow Time Lords for help. Unable to escape them, he was placed under trial for breaking their laws and was exiled to Earth and forced to undergo a second regeneration. That was the second Doctor's. Now if I want to review the Simon, I just want to say it's a very nice picture of him breaking out of the tomb in colour as well. That's also a very nice picture of Pat playing his, whatchamacallit, flute. And one more thing I'd like to point out, if you can notice there, he has a nice little ring there. If you look here, he has no ring. That's kind of a let down, you know, the picture is right there, and yet they haven't included it. Anyway, this is the Cybermen's lead-up. It says, Millennia ago, the planet Mondas, the twin of Earth, drifted out of the solar system and deep in space. In order to, in order to survive, the Mondasians had centuries ahead of Earth's technology replaced most of their bodies parts with cybernetic parts. Then they then continued this progress to their minds and removed all emotion from their brains to eradicate all weaknesses. The Mondasians were gone, and in their place were the first Cybermen. They became a race of galactic conquerors who took other organic beings and changed them into Cybermen. Constantly improving their technology, they conquered many worlds using some of them, such as the planet Telos, to store huge armies in suspended animation. That's basically everything I have to say about this set. Very nice set. And um, until next time, I shall be doing more reviews. Goodbye.